his message of his second term in office before being sworn in. He and other lawmakers, as you can see here, walked from the Tower Bridge towards the state capitol. KCRA 3's Ashley Zavala was at that inauguration today and joins us now live with the message of today. Ashley. Well, Ty, as you can tell, the date that the governor picked to have this event, January 6th, was no accident. The governor was aiming to put California in a contrasting spotlight to take back this day for what it's meant to people across this state and across this country. The governor declared California a freedom state while continuing his attacks on Republican lawmakers. Hi, Gavin Newsom. Governor Gavin Newsom swearing in for his second term as the leader of California. The governor choosing to take the oath of office on January 6th, a political decision meant to redefine the day for people across the state and maybe even the country. California, your state, our state, that offers a reason for hope. Newsom began the day leading a march down Capitol Mall in Sacramento. He walked a few blocks before getting into a car that took him to the inauguration site as marchers continued toward the state capitol. That's where American flags flew larger than the ones for California. Newsom's inauguration speech revolved around progress, recapping dark parts of the state's political past of racism and bigotry, but noted how after decades it turned into a diverse, inclusive state that protects gay marriage, abortion, and its migrants. In the end, we confronted our errors with humility and conviction, paving the way for rights and freedom to prevail. Freedom, a central theme in the back half of Newsom's speech, where he demonized Republican lawmakers who he says threaten that progress nationally. He didn't name names. They're promoting grievance and victimhood in an attempt to erase so much of the progress you and I have witnessed in our lifetimes. You know, in our finest hours, California has, has been, well, freedom's force multiplier, protecting liberty from a rising tide of oppression, taking root in state houses, weaknesses, masquerading as strength, small men in big offices. Newsom with a call to action. The battle lines, they're drawn. And, and I'll say it <laughs> once again, it is time for choosing. The time for divisiveness is over. We've seen that, that's ugly. State Assembly Republican leader, James Gallagher. I think people are tired of that. You know, what they wanna see is their leaders working together to solve real problems. Now, the governor did not make any policy announcement in his speech today. Critics note that the governor really focused on national social issues instead of what's focusing, uh, instead of what's happening here in California, the homelessness crisis and then the economic headwinds ahead with a potential $25 billion budget shortfall. The governor is expected to address those issues in a different presentation, the state budget next Tuesday. Reporting live here at the state capitol, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. And of course, we'll stay tuned for that. Ashley, thank you.